What's going on guys, Crypto Chris back with another cryptocurrency video breakdown. In this video guys, I'm going to be talking about the impact BACT will have on Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. Also going to be showing you one of the strategies that I have been using on a daily time frame. Um, before I jump into this video guys, also want to just remind you um, of my free telegram and I haven't like a giveaway going so once i hit 300 members on my telegram i will give away some crypto of your choice it can be bitcoin ethereum xrp eos or whatever you guys want i will give some i just want to show you um what kind of stuff i have on my telegram i give all my up-to-date trades and analysis on my telegram so this was my latest post i had this morning i do a free a morning update every day of uh, the potential trade setup, where I can see price going, if we're bullish, if we're bearish, etc. And in this post, I said that we broke under the 10,100 support, and then we had some minor support at 9,900. And I said if this support breaks, we can have a retest of last week's low of 9,600. So if I just um, jump into the Bitcoin chart, I'm going to jump straight into the four hour. So I just want to show you currently what I'm looking at. So, um, so I draw this flip set up from this recent high to the most significant low. And we had this region of support here. Price broke under this flip set up of the 3.82 fib. And our price is looking to retest this low of 9,600. If we break under this uh region here i believe um price can retest this long time support that we've had i just want to show you so this support has held time and time again every time we've retested this zone so at the moment this daily candle is looking very bearish we're looking to uh, close below yesterday's candle so if we close under this i believe a retest of 9600 is a given with a potential retest of nine nine thousand uh three hundred to nine thousand two hundred and if you was going to trade this i just want to show you the trade setup i currently have going on so if i jump on to the four hour i just want to show you also what i mean i just quickly just tidy this up so like i said we had this support holding here of uh around about nine thousand nine hundred we went we had whipped underneath it but price did close above it and now we are we had a four hour candle closure below it so current trade setup i would have this um short i'll have the stop loss just above uh where these where we've whipped over to these two wicks here with a potential target of a retest of this low here and we have a risk to re risk to reward risk to reward ratio of 10.5 so every dollar you're risking you're getting ten dollars back so um very important the to use a stop loss in the trades this is something that initially when i first started trading got into crypto it, it was something that i didn't even know about or something i didn't even think about but before i even place a trade i always think of the i see the risk risk to reward ratio i'll have my well i have my stop loss well i have my potential take profit and as this trade progresses i would move my stop loss down to secure that profit and uh, i just want to show you longer term what i'm currently looking at um, for you guys that follow me on my telegram you already know that I was highlighting that we we are still stuck in in a uh, ascending triangle which is formed of um, lower highs and it also formed of flat line of support like I've highlighted we had these three zones of support if we touch support and support breaks it should be quite a big move to the downside in my opinion just the fact because this pattern has been forming over the past few months and also i'm expect i also i can also expect if we have a massive surge to the upside and we break above this long-term down sloping resistance and we take out this previous high and we start forming new higher highs then i will switch my buys to bullish but at the moment 
price is looking pretty bearish and a test of this long-term support can be coming into play guys and uh, like I said we have back futures launching uh, they launched early hours in this morning I just want to show you the current volume the current volume of contracts exchange on the monthly futures is currently 69 this um, number has been slowly climbing but it hasn't had that big big impact that everyone was expecting I believe as the days and weeks progress we should see this number to increase and we should also see the volatility increase also so Bitcoin at the moment like I said we're still forming we're still failing to form any kind of new um, highs um, daily candle is looking bearish I believe if we close under this previous candle here this previous daily candle a retest of this support should come into play I also want to show you the strategy I've been currently using of the moving average so this is the daily frame on um, BTC so I just want to show you so if I just take it back here take it back to early May so we had a crossover strategy this even actually says to a buy signal so we had this buy signal and price rocketed up let's have a look 110 percent so this was a very accurate buy buy call so then we had this um bearish uh, crossover to the downside we had a sell signal and then if you place the sell order here and then you sold at the bottom it would have been a 43 percent uh, trade to the downside and also we had a buy order here uh, this candle here if you put a buy order in you would have been 18 percent in profit also um on btc if we go to the four hour and see what what the last few trades what it could have been so back down here we had a buy signal we had the bullish crossover and then it, then we're looking at a 13 percent to the upside then we had a sell signal here and it would have been another five percent so I'm, I'm telling you this um current one i'm looking at is very profitable guys it's something that i'm currently looking at currently i'm trading at but with any strategy, you need to remember to have that stop loss, guys, because this any trade can go against you. And also, if you're in profit, you want to keep that profit and don't turn a winning trade into a losing trade. So, guys, hope you enjoyed this quick and brief video. I just want to cover what is currently going on in BTC. As you can see, as we're speaking, price is still melting towards the downside. We are breaking under this uh minus support at 9900 if this especially if this daily candle closes below this region 9600 is a given with a retest of this long-term support and if we break under here my second my first target i'm targeting is this area of um previous resistance before price broke above this and we rocketed to upside of 13,800. so a break of this support guys it will be absolutely amazing if you're currently in a short trade and if we move this lower here just want to show you so we move this for our second target then you're looking at a risk to reward risk to reward ratio of um 9900 and it is almost a 800 dollar move to the downside guys so this is how i trade and if you start getting in profit all i do is just move that stop loss lower and lower and secure even more profit so this is a quick little insight on how i trade what i'm currently looking at and ways that you can use strategies to your advantage and kind of give you an indication where price can be going so back futures release officially now release guys i'll expect some volatility some more volatility over the next few days and weeks and we can finally see where this market go goes but it all depends when we have a break of this monthly 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 long-term holding pattern guys and i think this will di dictate where the market will go over the next month or so so anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video
don't forget to follow my telegram like i said once i get to 300 followers on my telegram one of you will win some free crypto link is in the description once again hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys on the next one crypto chris over and out